Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you about an upcoming class. I'm teaching astrology basics with Reiki. And this class is focusing on the 12 astrological houses, the 12 rising signs, as well as the four angles of your natal birth chart. So it's a wonderful class. If you want to learn astrology, you want to really solidify your basics, your foundation, some of the foundational techniques and knowledge that you need in order to really understand your birth chart and have a greater understanding of transits and where the moon is happening in your chart and where the eclipses are happening in your chart. All of these things that you see me do in the forecast videos for the all 12 signs readings, how I'm doing that is actually by my understanding of the rising signs and the 12 astrological houses. We're going to go into that in depth in the class. We're going to go into the ascendant, the midheaven, the descendant, the IC, also called the nadir in the birth chart, what the angles mean, how important those are, the categories that you can place the houses in, and really looking at all this information in a way I was just creating and working on the first draft of the PowerPoint for the class. I'm really seeking to present the information in a way that I wish it was presented to me the first time where you get it all and you get it in a flow, you get it in kind of a, a linear way where it's like, yeah, this makes sense. And understanding that if it is your first time through in learning the houses and some of these concepts, it still may be take a little while to fully understand and integrate. But really, I'm like, wow, there, there is a way to present this information where it makes sense and hopefully is more digestible, quicker, more rapidly. So that's really my intention with the class. And also with Reiki, it's a Reiki circle. So it's a safe space for sensitives, for empaths, for light workers who want to get together and be in the energy together, be in Reiki and use Reiki to really understand the nonlinear component to the houses and the angles and astrology and invite Reiki to heal maybe some of those more difficult parts of your birth chart the placements in the 6th house and 8th house and 12th house and any kind of challenging dynamics. Maybe you have a difficult relationship with your rising sign or your midheaven or what have you, really inviting that healing and also inviting the awarenesses, the insights, letting the synchronicities come through and allowing this knowledge, this wisdom to wake up within you to rewire your brain in magical ways to wake up your cellular intelligence, your DNA memory, and have just a really wonderful healing experience with astrology and be a part of, yes, learning the way that the houses were used in the past, but also let's open up, let's explore these from a heaven on earth perspective. Let's explore the higher frequencies of the houses. Let's let it integrate into greater loving awareness and compassion and the kind of earth that we want to empower here, the kind of humanity that we want to empower here. So really inviting in the higher frequencies for the houses, the rising signs and the angles. And the rising sign too is just so magical. It's one place you can look in your birth chart and say, okay, if I don't know what I'm doing, why I'm here, what my direction is, looking at the 
rising sign in your chart is always a good indicator of you are in the school of that zodiac sign. And so embodying that zodiac sign more fully. So we're going to go over some of the evolutionary impulses to each of the rising signs that can help you just be like a mantra or a slogan, an affirmation to come back when maybe you're feeling more lost or scattered or confused or not sure if you're on purpose. It's like the rising sign is an indicator of your soul purpose, of your evolutionary intentions for this lifetime. So we will be exploring that in class. So I'm just going to share with y'all on screen the event page for the registration. And I, as I'm about to share this, I had another thought to mention. We will look at the two house systems that I use most frequently. So we'll talk a little bit about house systems, but there are so many and they all work and they're all wonderful. And this is a space that is welcoming to you. If if you don't know what how systems are, this this class, you're welcome to this class. If you really like one house system, you know, if you use two, if you use three, if you use multiple, you're welcome to this class. It is looking at Western tropical astrology. So that is the approach for this class in focusing on the two house systems that I use the most and like the best, but that's not to say they are the best house systems. There's value and utility and functionality to all of them. So I will go ahead and share my screen now. Okay, so this is on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. If you just click the events tab, you will see the new moon distant Reiki share and you're invited to that. And this is the class right here that I'm talking about, Astrology Basics with Reiki, the 12 Astrological Houses, Rising Signs, and Four Angles. It's happening live online September 21st, 8 a.m. Hawaii time. It's a three and a half hour long class. So it's packed with information, but it also includes Reiki at the beginning and at the end, a channeled Reiki journey, helping you connect to the higher frequencies of what we are talking about and learning about. And it's recorded. So if you're unable to attend, you are fully welcome to attend via recording and you will be included in the circle. In class also, we will look at student chart examples. I'm not sure exactly how I will be doing that yet, probably with the rising signs. So that's something that if you do decide to sign up, there's a question if you're comfortable having your chart used in class or not, you don't have to. But if you would like to be used in class potentially, then you can give your permission for that as well as your birth information in case I don't already have it on file. So this is the class page. You can learn more about exactly what the class will cover here, as well as a time zone converter. So you can see when it's actually happening, but just looking at, you know, what to expect and kind of what is the, the format of the class and something I am really, really excited to be offering as a part of this class is something new. And I'm really sorry if you <laughs> are a member of my website and you were accidentally already invited to this group. I had a major Mercury retrograde moment yesterday. Oh my goodness. And accidentally invited a whole bunch of people to this group. So if you were invited, I'm really sorry. And if you had this kind of like spammy random email from me, from me about that. I really, really apologize. And the group is for people who sign up for the class only. So it's specific to people who register for the class. And there's a whole lot of value in it. So I'll just show you kind of inside the group here. So when you sign up for Astrology Basics with Reiki, you'll just log into my website and you you should be able to click groups and enter this group here. 
And so you'll be able to see and have instant access to the recordings from the two prior Astrology Basics with Reiki information presentation. So you can see this one here is a video. It's over an hour and a half of a recording here, lots of information, the Reiki invocation from that class as well, half an hour recording there for you to listen to as many times as you want. Also the slides from that class looking at all 12 zodiac signs. And then also the last class I taught, the one on the planets, you can receive the information video presentation. It is, I believe, like two hours long. So it's a lot of information you'll be able to immediately review when you join the class for the houses and you are granted access into this group. There's also the Reiki journey with the planets as well, 45 minute Reiki journey that you can receive and do as many times as you want to and the slides with the information from the class on the planet. So you will immediately be able to start learning and start reviewing all the basics. And if you register for this class and you have any trouble joining the group, just email me and I will troubleshoot that with you. And again, I just want to apologize to the people who received an email to me saying you had been added to this group. It was totally a mistake. I meant to actually add myself to do some testing inside the group. And I invited myself and I invited, you know, 200 other people. So I really, really apologize for that. And that's just to say, you know, as an astrologer, you know, I'm not above the uh, mistakes of Mercury retrograde and some of the, the just the, the things that you can't necessarily control or predict that sometimes, you know, I make the faux pas, the retrograde faux pas and can get worked up about it and stressed out about it and, and, and try to fix it and repair it as best I can. But I'm certainly not perfect. And coming to you today in this video from a space of humility. And, and that's why Reiki really is, you know, it's the best remedy I have found. Oh my goodness, for any of the challenging astrology, any of the challenging natal birth chart aspects, alignments and placements that are like, gosh, why did I choose this? You know, this is so difficult, right? Reiki can really help heal the lower frequencies and reveal the higher frequencies and some of the nicer expressions of whatever those placements and alignments are, as well as with the transits, you know, while Reiki energy didn't prevent me from making the mistake, although I had been guided to just relax and not get on my computer yesterday and what did I do? But I got on my computer and started playing around and wanted to test and wanted to see what it was like inside the group. And I ended up making that mistake. So having compassion for myself and inviting Reiki to help me relax and deescalate and, and repair this as quickly as I can. So I'm asking for your grace and compassion if you did receive that email from me. And I'm also choosing not to be hard on myself about this either because I am an earth human in this lifetime and part of humanity is making mistakes and loving ourselves and showing ourselves compassion and showing each other compassion and grace when other people make mistakes too. We're all perfectly imperfect together. So if you have any questions about the class, feel free to reach out. If you're having trouble joining the group after you actually sign up for the class, let me know. I'm here. We'll work through it together. But my intention with the group is really to add a lot of value, add as much value as possible to the people who feel called to study with me and also have a place where you can access the recordings without having to download them to your computer. So this is meant to be an upgrade. This is meant to be an added feature, a bonus feature. And I appreciate those of you who are are here helping me work out any kinds of bugs with it. And let's get this going really, really nice for all of you. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, I am so grateful for you and really sending you so much love as Mercury has stationed direct and will be moving forward and Uranus is stationing retrograde soon. We have the Virgo new moon just around the corner, Pisces lunar eclipse just around the corner, October 2nd, we have a Libra solar eclipse. I mean, we're we're headed into eclipse season and I'm guessing if you're like me, you're already, you're feeling this energy. And one other thing I'll mention about the class, gosh, my mind's going in a lot of different directions here is that we are doing the class right around the time of equinox. Oh my goodness. So the Libra equinox and the houses in the birth chart represent the different areas of your life, of your experience, your human experience. And it feels really synchronistic to do the class around equinox, which is that that perfect energy of balance, equal day, equal night, equal light, equal darkness, where thing, it's almost like zero point. And so finding a way to bring balance into all of your astrological houses, all of your astrological angles, you, your relationships, your career, your home, your foundation, your family, and then all the different life areas represented by the houses. So it, there's like this background resonance of balance underlying the class. So let's tap into that together. And I really look forward to the sacred circle that comes together for the class. Every class, it's always a sacred circle. It's always divinely ordered. And I'm so grateful for every single person I get to connect with through this work. It's an honor. It's a privilege. And I don't take it for granted. I'm extremely, extremely grateful for you and to you. And just like affirming right now, I am gratitude. Maybe you want to say that with me. I am gratitude. I am gratitude. I am gratitude. Aho, amen, namaste. And so it is. Mahalo. Have a beautiful day. Aloha.